All right, y'all. Y'all see it. Y'all know what it is, man. When we pull this thing out, we finna get some money, y'all. We just finna get some different kind of money. You know? Let's get... Let's get some different money, y'all. Some different kind of money. You know? <clears throat> uh... We know the lawn work ain't going nowhere, right? You got regular customers, so the lawn care work is not going nowhere. So if you can stack the lawn care up and get it done and pave the way to go make a thousand dollar a day. And I know a lot of guys out here on YouTube, you know, they make four grand a day every day. I know, I know. But if I can just make a thousand a day, I'm good. Okay, okay. It's uh Thursday. Y'all see what's behind me. Y'all see. Y'all know what it is. I love running the lift. Love it. Uh what we got going on. Okay, so y'all know we're going to do this tree job over here today. Uh tree job pays pretty good. Uh what else? Yeah. Uh I'm going to pick up the third guy. I don't even know if I need them or not, but uh, I'd rather have them out there than not because I charge enough to to justify that. So, you know, I got to get gas too. I know that. Damn, I forgot. But yeah, so uh, it's Thursday. Uh, you know, I've been calculating all week to do this job and planning all week long to do this job and moving things around and, uh, you know, all week long, ever since like, you know, well, ever since last weekend, but you know, this job was gonna be a bobcat job today, but that got changed to the lift job. And y'all know all about, you know, I was supposed to take the bobcat out, but uh, this job right here actually pays more money. And I don't have to take the Bobcat uh, anywhere. So, uh, yeah. And this is about 20 minutes closer. This job's going to be easy, man. I'm going to really, I think we're going to really do good over here. I don't know, you know, uh, exactly how long it's going to take. This is all about maneuvering the, the lift around. But my thinking is uh, no more than three hours, no more than, th you know, no more than four hours. I mean, if we're over here more than four hours, I'll be shocked, you know. But even if I'm over here four hours with a lift, see, I'll be sending them guys on, on where they can go do something else to make even more money. I gotta get Drew uh, fluent with hooking the trailer up and unhooking the trailer. Okay. Uh, <clears throat> because see, in theory, the lift over here, you know, is gonna, I mean, it's gonna make good money real quick. But see, my thinking is if, if, if I knew that, if I felt comfortable with, you know, Drew unhooking the dump trailer, hooking up the lawn trailer, and grabbing a lawnmower and going and cutting a yard or two, him and his buddy, then I would probably let them do that. But see, I don't, you know, that's, that's a little bit too many moving parts for me right now. I ain't saying he can't do it, but for me, I gotta be able to know, you know, it's just, that's a little bit too much for him to go out and make another, you know, $150, $200, you know, go do three lawns or so, you know. Uh, but that's the goal eventually, you know, eventually that's gonna be the goal. <coughs> <coughs> so yeah. So big shout out to SC Lawns over there, man. Hey, dude, that's a great idea with the rebar, man. I did not even think of that. You know, putting the rebar in that angle iron to sturdy it up 
and the running between the busted pieces and all. Man, dude, I like that. I like that a lot. I'm out here at this tree job like I was telling you guys about the other day. Uh, we're going to be backing in. I'm going to try to back in right here, you know, and so we're going to take this branch off. Uh, and I'm going to use the lift on back in here. We're going to take some of these branches off. And we're going to try to get the lift. I told him we'd do these bushes too real quick. Get the top off. Uh, going to trim as much of these as we can off. The main job here today though is, is this pine tree right here. And y'all see how, how over the house it is and everything. So... Uh, I cut them vines the other day, and y'all seen them starting to die. But this sweet gum tree is going to get trimmed up high and tight, too. So. All right, y'all, so I got to uh, readjust the lift. We need to get the lift over here to where I can get these. Hey, I'm talking about behind the lift, dude. Bye-bye. I've got to back the lift up. So all this stuff behind the lift. It's a lift. I'm going to back the lift all the way up to here, dude. So, and I didn't see no point in picking that stuff up and just moving it. Might as well pick it up and take it to the truck. And then we'll take, as you get that up, man, we'll take a little breather, man. So y'all see, I, I'm going to get those two limbs. Y'all see them right there. Uh, but it's, i got to maneuver a little bit. I'm going to have to, I don't even know. I might come in better, come out better coming in over there, y'all. You know? So I can straddle that damn grass line right there. All right, y'all. So uh, this is the next. We're going. I'm gonna get this sweet gum tree best I can. Uh, this really wasn't part of our deal, but uh, I can't leave. I can't. I can't not do that, man. That wouldn't even make no sense not to get these limbs that I can reach real easy. Then I'm gonna go around to the other side. We're gonna go up the driveway. Uh, get the first load. We're gonna load all these branches on there, and then we're gonna get the and that'll get the first load out of here. And uh, yeah, we're just gonna go. So man, you gotta love this Milwaukee pole saw. It's lightweight enough for me to be able to hold it with one arm. Uh, uh, and you see, I use the handsaw a lot too. So. Uh, you know, I'd rather use the handsaw on some of the smaller stuff than crank up a chainsaw. Uh, the, the little handsaw, sharp tooth handsaw, they work really good. So I'm just trimming up this this sweet gum. This was not part of our deal, but uh, I'm glad I, I did it because this uh, uh, made the homeowner, you know, really see that, uh, you know, we got the best interest of the property at heart. So much so that he even gave me an extra $300. So, uh, uh, and I trim this tree up good. I'm going, I'm going to speed it up some, but yeah. So you guys see all the ivy and stuff on the tree? Well, all that ivy should be dying. I cut it at the bottom and I cut some of it going as I'm going up the tree, but it all should be dying. It may, it, it'll probably take at least three or four weeks uh, for uh, the ivy to start dying. But one of my goals as a lawn care provider for this particular co uh, customer is uh, getting these trees in order slowly but surely, uh, just cutting a little bit here and a little bit there on the ivy as I'm doing the lawn maintenance. You know, we're always talking about you got to set yourself apart from just anybody else. And this lift and the mentality I have sets me apart from uh, the normal, regular long guy. So.
All right, y'all, so we are, we're getting there. Uh, I'm getting as much footage as I can that makes sense. Uh, I got these guys, Drew's taking the first load out of here. We on. Something felt funny just then. <laughs> uh, so yeah, it's 1220. Uh, we, we got here uh, around, well, I guess it, we got here around 9.30. So in the free time today, the guys were, had them clean out the white truck. And so they put all the trash out of the white truck in a trash bag. And then they set the trash bag in front of my truck. And so I'm just seeing that and, and it busted the bag all out on the road. And I have to get out there and pick it all up. So. I mean, what the hell's up with that? I mean, who does that? They know I'm moving the truck, and one of the guys, I think it's the third guy, put the bag, trash bag, in front of my truck. I mean, there's, you know, 20,000 square feet, and got to set the trash bag right in front of my truck, knowing I'm pulling my truck out of there to back the lift into another location. Crazy, man. Yeah, one of these Brainiacs put the damn back trash bag where they cleaned out the other truck right in front of this truck. I mean, who does that, dude? Stupid crap like that just makes me, just drives me absolutely crazy. So the trash all in the freaking street that I had to pick up. I mean, damn, man. Don't put nothing in front of a truck. Nothing. You know I'm moving the truck. I don't put nothing. Nothing goes in front of the truck. Jeez, man. Man, nasty ass trash and shit. got my guy to blow the roof off and blow the gutters out we had to blow the roof off anyway because some of the pine needles and stuff fell on the roof but yeah and at the last minute he wanted me to cut down this right here not a big deal and that's why i would cut it down while they were still loading up this back here the only thing about it is there was a big bee hole over here so that was a pretty big deal uh and you'll see Okay guys, so we're done. Uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna walk the video camera around to show you guys what uh, what we did and what's still left to do. Uh, it is two o'clock. Uh, so we've been over here about five hours and $1,300 y'all. So just to kind of, just to show y'all that Ray ain't bullshitting. So what I'll do is I'll pay these guys, you know, good. I don't want it. I'll pay them good. Uh, they'll probably make, uh, you know, $25 or $30 an hour over here. So something like that is what they'll be getting. Uh, they worked hard. They did good. Uh, he gave us a little extra, so I'm going to give them a little extra. You know, uh, when, a, when a homeowner tips me, then I tip, then I make sure that I share the wealth with my guys. So, you know, uh, 
Yeah, and that's the nature of the beast, man. Uh, we're going to deposit this check while I'm sitting here waiting on them. Uh, Drew, you need any of your money today? Twenty bucks would be nice. All right, here. Sweet. I'm gonna. So we got to cut that off at the ground. Okay. Uh, and then I'm gonna back that truck up for you. Okay. And then I'm gonna leave y'all. Where you headed? Home. What was that? that was a stupid question. Was that? Where? Why? <laughs> I was up till 10 o'clock getting everything ready to go. Again? Backing the old truck up to the dump trailer, hooking that up, putting the battery charger hey, boss, on. Man. You the boss, boss. Boss, you got boss at home he wants. Oh, yeah. All right. Let me go cut this, this limb off of him, y'all. Wrap, 2 o'clock. Uh, that's a wrap. Uh, kind of just want to kind of show y'all some of what we did. Uh... They're gonna blow all this off. I'm gonna leave them here. I'm done. We took that tree out right there. Y'all probably saw that in the video. Uh, and I believe, and we went down. I went down this whole line right here, y'all, and cut the cut cut uh cut it back so this grass can grow. This is zoysia grass, and this zoysia grass should grow pretty good. Uh, but you know, when they all see. That pine tree way up there. Everything's cut pretty good, man. There's a lot of cleanup, but we're not we don't have to clean all this stuff up because I'll be doing the lawn and he understands, you know, I did a lot of extra stuff over here, so and y'all see the guys. They're working hard now. These guys did good today, so I will pay them accordingly. And the homeowners very gracious and grateful and that's what you want man i would have never got you know thirteen hundred dollars out of the bobcat job that i had planned before you know before this never would have got thirteen hundred dollars and i would have been there all freaking day and it's a lot further out i mean it was just a lot you know that i wouldn't have got so and when you're self-employed, man, you, you pick and choose, and you live by the sword and you die by the sword. Uh, I'm happy as can be over here, and I know the customer is too. And right. yeah, so this is a job that we set up that, that I just set up the other day. So I know, you know what. Uh, uh, I know that this customer is going to be a damn good customer, man. I mean, I just I just started doing the lawn. I've only cut the lawn twice, and I've already I've already gotten uh, shoot an extra work besides the lawn, thirteen hundred today. I got four hundred uh, one other time, and then a two hundred, and then a couple of nineties. So you know that's good, man. You know. So, yeah, I'm happy. He's happy. The guys are happy, you know. Uh, stoked, dude. I love that lift, man. That lift is just something else, man. It really is. It's, it's, a, it's a major piece of equipment that, uh, given the right circumstance and environment, it pays dividends so so let's tally up so I was already at about 12,500 bucks with the lift you know uh, generated lift is generated money that the lift is generated so now we at you know, you know 13 five or so you know that the lift is generated so that's not it's not uh, net profit but that's gross I don't have the net, you know, but you know, you figure take 30% off of that, and then you probably got the actual net of actually money that the lift is has, uh, you know, paid for itself, you know. Uh, but the lift is generated, uh, you know, over $13,000, and I only paid $17,000 for it, so. And that was 
about three days before Christmas. And any of you guys have been following the channel for a minute, y'all y'all know when I bought the lift because I was a little bit spooked about it, you know. And here we are, you know, four months later, and I've got, you know, three quarters of the money back, man, you know. And the lift, the actual hours on the lift, I ain't even put 12 hours on it, y'all. I'm for real. Because the hour meter on that lift ain't moving unless you're moving. <laughs> so it ain't like an engine, you know. So that lift's been, you know. I know there was a lot of naysayers, and I was a little bit spooked, too. I'll be honest. I wasn't, you know, uh, you know, 100% sure that I could, you know, confident that I'd make good money with the lift or whatever. But, uh, yeah, that lift is doing something else, man. It's, it's, it, done, it do what it do. It's doing what it's, I mean, it, it's, it's, it's done. It's great, you know. Hasn't broken down or nothing, man, you know. I mean, I'm amazed. I'm amazed at the lift. I'm amazed at, you know, what people are willing to pay. And then the gratitude they show, uh, you know, when you do this kind of work, because contrary to what anybody thinks or, or whatever, we just trim a few trees. But see, you trimming critical critical branches, you trimming, you know, you know, sketchy stuff. You know, at least it's sketchy to somebody that don't have a lift. I mean, without a lift, you won't go trim them trees that I trimmed today. But the lift makes it so easy, man. I was only going to charge him a thousand. He gave me thirteen hundred. Shoot, that's a good paying job right there, dude. I think a good paying job, man. I made a whole lot less. I would have had to go out there to Fairburn, which is about twenty more miles away from here, further out, hauling the eight thousand pound bobcat. Uh, you know, and no telling what I was going to get into. You know, when I can go right over here. You know, 15 miles from my house instead of 35 miles or 30 miles. Hell no. So, I was wondering, and, I, and I, I've been analyzing this this year more so than usual. I was wondering, do you guys take a lunch? See, over the years, I didn't... Uh, you know, over the years, we never take a lunch. You know, if I know I'm going to be out here to, you know, 5 o'clock or so, then, yeah, yeah, I'll take a lunch. But just normal, just normal day-to-day -day running, I don't, we don't take a lunch. But I'm beginning to see where taking a lunch might be beneficial because then we can work a little bit longer and make another couple of hundred bucks, you know. Uh, because what ends up ha what I've noticed that ends up happening is by the time we get you know to around you know two o'clock or so, everybody's tired and everybody's ready to go home. You know, they're done. You know, but if we were to take a lunch, you know, from say just, just from twelve to twelve thirty. You know, eat a sandwich or just uh, you know, uh, would that. I wonder if we could get more work done. I've always been of the intense, you know, since I've been in business, I've always been like, well, hell, I don't want to work till five or six o'clock, you know. But see, that's not for everybody. And sometimes the guys at work, you know, well, they're, they're working physically, working harder than me, and business may benefit if they were to take a lunch and then we could work until you know 3 30 or so four o'clock you know uh, and we would not have hangry issues that we have you know because like right now I'm beat man you know but I don't work as physically hard as these guys do though I can but I don't and 
I probably, I don't know for sure, but I, I, I probably take better care of myself when we're not working. You know, uh, I probably eat better food. I probably get better rest uh, and all that. Because the way it's got to go down, you, you can't just take a lunch every now and then. You got to either do it every day or don't do it every day. You know? Them, uh, you know, so I don't know, man. I, I, it's something I'm thinking about this year. Uh, All right, man. Made it back home. Lick got the lift unloaded. Uh, Drew and them were on their way back. Uh, we had a good day. You know, it's 3 o'clock. Uh, $1,300. About five hours of work. Uh, a little more money than I thought we would make. Uh, but a little more time, too, than I thought we would take. So, you know, it all worked out good. Uh, anytime, you know, if you're me, and this is just me, I know there's a lot of guys that, you know, make $3,000 every day. I know. But uh, for us to do $1,300 uh, in, in a morning or five hours, then that's pretty good uh, for me and my business uh, based on, you know, what things cost me, you know. Uh, and I know there are guys that make a lot more than that. And, uh, but I also know there are guys that's, that it costs them a lot more too. So, yeah, <laughs> I'm tired, man. It's right, Sammy time. Peace out.